things quite unintended. Or even worse, to say the things you mean. Another here, thanks, missus. Same again, thanks. No, I'll have something different. Let's have a... A dark with a double measure of OP rum. Oh, my God. A real drink for a cold winter's night. I haven't had one of those since I stopped driving. I thought that's what stopped you. Clance, are you sure? You look like you've had enough. I'm fine, Thel. I'll know when I've had enough. If you say so. Now I've had enough. Knew I'd know. Well, what do you know? Clancy's gone to visit Nana. We don't know where he are. I shouldn't have given it to him. Oh, no. Who threw the switch on him? I tried to tell him. He never knows when to stop. Well, how's he going to get home? Oh, don't worry. I'll take him home. Wake him up a little, Thel. Come on, Clance. Wake up. Come on. Wake up. Oh, come on. Wake try up. that. Come on, Clance. All right. Right, 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 right. Where's my bullock's blood? Oh, we put it back in the bullock. <laughs> now, come on. All right. All right. Where's my hat? On your head. Good, good. I was just checking. Where am I? Under your hat. Now, get going. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I have written him a letter, oh, which no, I had afterwards. for want of better. Oh, he's always reciting that when he's drunk. He always recites it when he's sober. What's the difference? When he's drunk, he can remember the words. <laughs> College! That's the next word. Come on, Clance. Maureen's taking you home, eh? Come on. I'll take you home again, Maureen. Across the oceans far and wide. Yes, Mr. Smith. Across. My foot hurts. <laughs> Why is that? Come on, Clance. Bye bye, Clance. Bye, Clance. Bye, Clance. Oh, that fresh air hit you. You okay now? Yeah, yeah, it's clear in my head. I was a bit wounded there for a while. Oh, that's better. Thanks for your help, Maureen. Oh, that's all right, Clarence. You're a, you're a good mate to look after a man. Oh, you know. Yeah. Oh, you're better than a mate. You, you know that, don't you? Oh, come on, Clarence. Oh, you, you're special to me. You know that too, don't you? You always have been. You'd better be getting home. Can you manage by yourself? I've been too long by myself, Maureen. What? A man starts to want something more out of life. Someone to come home to. A place of his own. What are you going on about, Clancy? I'm going on about us, Maureen. You and me. You and me? What about you and me? Maureen, I want you to be my wife. Will you marry me? Skipper was me. What did I do last night? I must have really tied one on. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, I remember. Had a little sleep on the bar. And Maureen helped me out the door. And I proposed to her. What's going on? How did you find me here? It wasn't all that hard. But this is my secret camp. Nobody knows how to get here. Everyone knows how to get here. We just haven't done it before, because we didn't want to intrude. But I was safe from prying eyes here. Clarence, you're only 400 yards from town. 
For that wild bush out there, a man could get lost in it. I mean, if anyone were to try and come and look for me, they could get lost. Yeah, of course. Now, listen, what happened with you and Maureen last night? Did you say anything? Only that she doesn't want to talk about it. Does she know I've gone? She does now. She's not saying a word about anything to anyone. So what happened? Did you have a fight? Outside, there was, there was a full moon. Stars were blazing. Maureen was there. That bit's right. You know me, Phil. I'm a romantic at heart. Things were said. Mm. It happened like this. Too long, Maureen. Yes, Clancy. Man shouldn't be alone. I know. I understand. And yes, I will marry you. There you have it, Phil. What's a man to do? You could always marry her. No, I'm not cut out for married life. I'm a will of the wisp. Blow across the land like the wind. You know me, Phil. I never stay in one place. I've been here 17 years. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm too young to get married. You're 38. Then I'm too old to get married. You understand, don't you, Phil? It's Maureen that has to understand it, not me. I suppose so. Sooner or later, you're going to have to tell her. Couldn't you tell her for me, Phil? I mean, it'd be better coming for another woman. She'd take it easier that way. I think it'd be best all around and, and kinder to Maureen. Are you? Do your own dirty work, Clint. Hi, 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 Clance. Skip, skip. Strangers in the camp. I think she's supposed to tell you, Clance. What are the shotguns for? We're after a fox has been taking some chickens. Oh, for a minute there, I thought that. And a rat who's been proposing to waitresses. Ah, uh, now, point of order there, Kevin. I'm not altogether sure that I actually proposed to the girl. Are you trying to say she proposed to you? What did she say about it? That's for us to know. You've broken that poor girl's heart, Clance. We're all men of the world, aren't we? Aren't we? Look, fellas, I've been drinking. You said it, Clance, and if you say it, you've got to stick to it. That's right. A man's got to stand by his word. And we're here to see you live up to your responsibilities. I've got to look after Skip. Then there's the horse. Get your things together, Clance. You're coming back with us. Careful, fellas. You lay a hand on me and that dog's liable to tear you to pieces. We'll take the chance. You see, it happened like this. Maureen! Maureen! I know you're up there! Clancy, you broke through the Yankee blockade and came back. Maureen, I've been a fool. I see it now. You're the woman for me, and I'm the only man for you. You forget Ashley Wells. And you come with me now. It's not that easy, Red. Maureen, why are you calling him Rhett? Oh, did I? Sorry, Mrs. Spencer. I can't. There's people who depend on me. Kevin and Missy Sandy and old Nana Thelma. They need me, Red. Tara needs me. I can't come with you. But what'll I do? What's to become of me? 
Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. You said no? You knocked him back. Of course I did. Flutter. Clancy, you're back. Must have broken through the Yankee blockade and come back to see old Nanny Thelma. Oh, sorry about that, Thel. It was just a story, you know. <coughs> so, uh, anyway, Maureen. Hey, Ben. Get on with it. What now? Now. So, uh, I've come back to marry you. Let's get on with it. Right. Well, come on, Maureen, say yes and we can all have a beer. Well, um, Clancy, you see... No, look, I'm sorry, Clancy, this is just not good enough. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Spencer. What's the matter now? The mongrel says he'll marry her. I can't do much more than that. Kevin, the matter is that Maureen is deeply insulted. Yeah. I mean, Clancy proposes to her, then he runs off and jilts her. Yeah, but he's back now. Oh, yeah, he's back now. He waltzes in here, expects Maureen to drop everything and forgive him instantly and marry him. It's not good enough. I see your point. One minute. Mrs. has a point here. She says Clance has insulted Maureen by proposing and going bush. And then he insulted her again by coming back and assuming she wasn't insulted in the first place. Yeah, that too. Bloody, Bloody men. men. Bloody, Bloody idiot. idiot. What have I done now? You've got them mad at all of us. You're going to have to sort this out, Clance. Just a minute. Are you saying she doesn't want to marry him now? Just a minute. Now, Maureen, let's be very sure about this. You don't want to marry him, do you? No. I like him, but not enough to marry him. And you want to let him down easy? Well, I don't want him to kill himself or anything. Well, OK, I think we're in the clear. I think you can refuse him and you won't be too embarrassed about it. Hang on. Aren't we letting him down a bit too easy? How do you mean? I reckon he deserves a bit of misery for what he's done. Yeah, let's fry the mongrel. Oh, Lisa! No, no, no. Mrs Spencer, she's right. Let's fry the mongrel. Yeah. Oh, all right, then. <clears throat> so what do you say, then? Uh, Maureen has um, indicated that she's not prepared to accept Clancy's proposal. At this moment. So does she want to marry him or doesn't she want to marry him? Yes. Look, Mrs, this is getting very complicated here. Could we have a beer to be going on with? No. Clance, you're going to have to get this sorted out in a hurry. I'm getting very thirsty here. But I don't understand what I'm supposed to do anymore. You're supposed to get this sorted out so we can all have a beer. Clancy's going to have to convince Maureen that his offer is worth considering. Yeah, right. How's he going to do that? He's going to have to romance her. What? Now? Clancy, are you sure you understand what we're getting at here? Not exactly. Could you explain it to him, Bob and Bob? You're going to have to romance her, Clance. You're going to have to pitch her some woo. How much of this woo should I pitch? Oh, I'd say lots. We're getting really thirsty. Uh, Maureen? Maureen? What do you say? We'll let you know. Thank <laughs> you.